What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to discuss a few points brought up over the past few days regarding Destiny 2 and why it's basically in its current state. Now, Destiny 2 is pretty much in the slumps at the moment and it shouldn't be the case 3 months after release. So on the Destiny Trackers podcast we saw what's been a super reliable source known as Jason Schreier, the guy who is the news director at Kotaku basically drop a little bit of information of why Destiny 2 could be in its current state. So this is what Jason said and it's an actual serious subject. Destiny 2 was rebooted back in 2016 and if that is the case there really wasn't much time put into what would have been a fresh reboot. This is exactly what Jason said, although if you do want to hear the full podcast you'll find it linked within the video description via Destiny Tracker's YouTube channel. So Jason said this, I think that it, Destiny 2, was made in a relatively short period of time. There was a big reboot of Destiny 2 at some point of early 2016. There had been a previous director who was directing the game before Luke Smith, who is the current director, took over. This guy who was directing before Luke Smith was put aside for Luke Smith to take over. I believe that was in April of 2016, but I might be misremembering so don't hold me to that exact line. So if you think about it that way then they really didn't have a ton of time. It had been a 16 month period between the reboot and when the game finally shipped. Hearing this actually makes a lot of sense considering Destiny 2 and how it's been and progressed. And it ain't progressed very far. Destiny 2 does indeed feel like a rushed and pushed out game, a game which is a fraction of what the first game ended to offer. The basis of Destiny 1 just after the release of Rise of Iron was in a great place, not perfect but a great place, a time where much of the community were really happy. That DLC brought to the game so much including the whole new raid, story, Although the story probably weren't the best part, it still offered many other things including Arkham's Forge, exotic weapon quests and so much more. The basis of where Destiny 1 left off was great and it was a core which many of us thought Destiny 2 would come offering, but that certainly was not the case. Destiny 2 released as what many people including myself were saying was basically a reboot. Luke Smith supposedly took over at around April of 2016 giving him and the team at Bungie under 16 months to reboot a game which had no doubt had already been worked on for some time. It makes you wonder the game we would have got if it wasn't rebooted. No doubt in my opinion it would have been more like the game we saw Destiny 1 finish off its life cycle as. So Luke Smith took over on Destiny 2 on April 2016. This after he was the lead director on the Taken King DLC which came out around September 2015. The Rise of Iron then was released at September 20th, 2016, which finished off the life cycle of Destiny 1 and it was a strong, strong feature. Because of this we all expected something great with Destiny 2. Now this is actually what I think happened here. Luke Smith rebooted Destiny 2 and this was the start of the downfall. What he did in my opinion was try and reboot the franchise while keeping us happy by not actually stating they're rebooting the franchise when it comes to the core story etc and what we expect from a sequel. His ideas no doubt were in us losing everything including weapons, armor, light and so forth. This was the start of the reboot and it felt like everything we played for within Destiny 1 was taken away from us and this was a part of the plan in my opinion. A reboot but not an actual reboot and now you are understanding me. Think of it like this, Destiny 2 isn't really a follow up, it isn't really a sequel. We as a player here are starting a fresh game. So his idea of rebooting us, why and where did this come from? In my opinion it came not long after the Taken King DLC. Actually the idea of this and thought process towards it no doubt came way before the DLC. Destiny 1 if you remember upon release and not long after received so much negativity. It was half the game we were promised offering half a story and not much else. For sure the core mechanics offered more than D2 at release but the game wasn't fulfilled. We wasn't happy as a community and this was going on way after the Taken King was released. Everything they dropped DLC wise just didn't really meet our expectations. I feel Luke Smith had this in mind and with this in mind thinking a fresh reboot of the franchise would be a good idea. Any DLC that dropped for Destiny 1 would always serve the same outcome of an unhappy community. But this wasn't the case with the Rise of Iron but once we actually saw and received something great and it was the start of what many thought would be things to come within the future. By this time the plans to reboot Destiny with Destiny 2 
were no doubt already in the works. It was a set in stone placement. Destiny 2 saw us as Guardians rekindle all our old abilities with no doubt changes for the better or the simpler. The base story of Destiny 2, although I believe wasn't as long as Destiny 1's, it still gave us more story on what was actually going on. The balance of the game and the changes we experienced were those of a company fixing or trying to fix issues they thought were causing many problems with the original first game. If we were to compare everything Destiny 1 offered and we compare that to what Destiny 2 offers, we will find that almost in every single case everything is dumbed down within Destiny 2. It's been given the short route, it's been made simple and this has no doubt come from a company trying to fix mistakes they've made within the past and keep things balanced across the board with a short time limit to do so. 16 months or below isn't very long at all. But what they actually did was take away everything we loved about Destiny 1 and gave us an empty shell and now they're finding themselves basically trying to deliver us stuff that Destiny 1 already featured. Destiny 1 as an end product was an amazing starting point, a reboot in my opinion was a bad idea, especially 16 months before it was released, whether at the time they thought they had more time to do so, we don't know. But at the end of the day, the outcome and the end product is that of a product which actually feels like a product built on 16 months of reused and reimagined features. It makes sense of why Destiny 2 is in its current state. Now I won't ever say it's too late for Destiny as we have been in similar boats in the past, where a few patches and DLCs later, we are happy. But at the moment, it feels like it's going to be a real long road. But hey, it's a new year. Hopefully, as we know Bungie have said they're listening, we will hear soon their thoughts and the changes they will bring to the franchise. Big changes are needed, not impossible changes either. With time and effort from both us and Bungie, this game could be great again. And on that note, guys, I am out. What do you think about Destiny 2 being rebooted 16 months before release? Was it a real bad idea? No doubt the reasoning behind the current state of Destiny 2? Let me know. But thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.